everybody. Just wanted to share a video this morning about an RV park that we stayed in last night. So we left Dallas yesterday morning and we are headed back towards Indiana. Uh, but we have some family that lives in um, the Rogers, Arkansas area. So we came this way, wanted to spend some time with them and we found an RV park in Bella Vista, Arkansas on Good Sam's website. So I uh, found this place, called them, told them we had a 41 foot fifth wheel. So we always let people know that because we know it is a rather large rig. So we want to make sure there's plenty of space uh, to park. And they said, yes, they could accommodate us. They did tell us they had all back end spots, which is no big deal for us. Um, but we got here about 4.30, 5 o'clock yesterday evening and we came in and there were just a couple of things about the park that we wanted to share with everyone that we thought might be uh, valuable information for other RVers. So the first thing, when you come into this park, uh, the entrance and exit uh, is the same road. It is not a double width road. It is sort of a one and a half width road. So we didn't meet any uh, other vehicles or RVs when we were coming in, which was great. But if you do, I'm guessing that's gonna be tight. Okay, so just be aware of that. The second thing about the entrance is that there's a pretty steep downhill grade, um, pretty quick right into this park. So the downhill wasn't horrible for us. Um, I don't think the uphill will be a big problem either, but it's, it's pretty significant. So you just wanna know that. Um, the next thing is that this park is just really a very long park. So you can see it here. It's just one road with spots on both sides. Um, as I said, they are all back in sites, but I'm telling you, it's tight. Okay, uh, we were able to do it. Don't get me wrong. Obviously our RV is parked and we got it in okay. Um, but I don't know if you can tell from this video, but here's the nose of our RV right here over my shoulder behind our truck. And see this nose here on the other side? That one's actually three campers up. So there are RVs right there. See how close those are? Um, so it took some interesting finagling for my husband to get that thing parked. And I want you to know my husband is a pro at backing in. Typically he is a one back in guy. Um, this was more of a five, six, seven point turn to get this thing backed in here because it was so tight. So think about this. So here's the nose of our RV and there's our truck. Look how far we have that overlapped while it's parking. Now imagine if that thing were out here in the road, how much space that takes, right? So it's a tight fit. So like I said, we are 41 foot nose to tail on our fifth wheel. My husband thinks that probably a 32 foot uh, motorhome or um, RV, pullable, towable RV would probably have no problem backing in here. Um, if you're bigger than that, you might want to um, reconsider coming here, or if you do come here, you're gonna wanna make sure that there aren't RVs directly across from you so that you have more maneuvering um, capabilities. There are some sites further up um, across from uh, those pavilions down there that do not have the same type of situation. So it might not be as tight. Probably if we'd had one of those, it would have been a much smoother uh, transition into the spot, but it was a little challenging. The other thing is when you leave, there is, um, I don't know, it's behind this tree line right over here, the road to leave. So you go up, you turn to your right, and then you come back the same direction and go behind these trees. And there is a low level water drain that you sort of drive through. It is, it's cement, it's paved, that, that's not an issue, but it's got a bit of a drop. We are hopeful um, that we won't drag going out. We did watch another RV leaving today and he didn't drag. So maybe it's not uh, as bad as it seemed when we were just going through in our truck last night. But 
Just a couple of things that we wanted you to be aware of. It is full hookup, so that's great. Um, it's not too um, challenging to get here, quite frankly. It's right off of I-49, so that's a good thing. Um, but just a few little things that, you know, when you're going to a new campground you don't know about, I wanted you all to be aware of it before you got here. Uh, so this is Blowing Springs RV Park in Bella Vista, Arkansas and uh, hope this information was helpful. Hey everybody, just wanted to up you, update you on that whole downward um, drainage ditch that I talked about earlier and how I was a little concerned that we might drag. Um, just wanted you to know that we did drag a little bit, maybe about six inches um, on our back jacks. It wasn't a deep, deep dig, but it did happen, just so you know. Um, and we were going super slow trying to make sure that we could avoid it if at all possible. The other thing that I mentioned, remember that downward slope coming into the campground, so we just came up that really hard hill. Um, it, we were able to do it. It was slow and it certainly um, was a bit of a tug, but we got it up there no problem. So just those are the couple of things that thought you might want to know about this particular campground.